All right, so now let's continue further. Now look at example two. And this one uh, has two parts, part A and B. And part A states, which points X, Y, and Z satisfies the equations X squared plus Y squared equals one and Z equals to three. And then part B says, what does the equation X squared plus Y squared equal uh, represent as a surface in R3? All right, so let's take a look at the solution to part A first. So because Z equals to three, the points lie in the horizontal plane Z equals to three from example 1A. So if we recall example 1A, that this is our Z equals to three. So it's gonna be somewhere along this there, but then we're also given an equation of a circle. This is just an equation of a circle. So because uh, X squared plus Y squared equals one, the points lie in the circle with radius one and the center of, uh, yeah, and the center on the Z axis as shown in the figure below. So if we draw this out, we're gonna have something that looks like this. This is our Z. And there's our y axis, our x axis. There's the origin. And this is our point three. And, and now we have it like that. I'll make it a bit shorter. Then we have a point three here. And now, we're, now so that's a three on the z. But now we have x squared plus y squared. That's the circle on this uh, z equals three plane. So we can write it like this, draw it like this. So there's a circle. And uh, yeah, yeah, that, that's just our circle there. And well, it's going to be behind this. So let's make this uh, like this dashed. Let's try this one more time. All right, yeah. So just have it like that. So this is going to be our circle. Yeah, so it's going to be circle, and the equations are circle uh, x squared plus y squared equals to one, and z is equal to three. All right, so now let's take a look at the solution to B. So uh, B is here. So we're given, uh, what does the equation X squared plus Y squared equals one represent as a surface in R3? Uh, in other words, in three dimensions. And this is the same thing as this, but there's no Z equals three. So let's take a look at the solution to B. So given that X squared plus Y squared equals one with no restrictions on Z, we see that the point X, Y, Z could lie on a, on a circle in any horizontal plane Z equals to K. So the surface x squared plus y squared equals one and R3 consists of all possible horizontal cir uh, circles, x squared plus y squared equals one and z equals k. And is therefore, is, is therefore the circular cylinder with radius one whose, ac whose axis is the z axis. So basically we're not uh, limited to the z equals three. It could be on anywhere across. I'm just gonna copy and paste that same graph here. Yeah, so I'm gonna copy and paste that. And now we can remove this three, so it does not have to be the three. And it could be anywhere. And this is gonna go all the way down. Yeah, we'll just go down here. And it's down here. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna make it on the uh, the positive axis, but it can go all the way down. And this is gonna be a cylinder like that. A bit better, like this. And and then this is gonna be in 3D. So we're gonna erase this, put this down here and then dot, 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 all the way down. We'll actually keep going because it's a, it's a surface, not a, a 3D shape. So, I mean, not a solid, so it's not a solid. So then put it all the line all the way down there and we go dash, dash, dash. Same thing with this, dash, 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 dash. Extend it out and just to make it 3D, dash, 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 and then like that. And then I'm just gonna shade this in blue, just make it like this, or actually in red, shade it, shade it across. All right, it's a bit hard to shade, shade, shade. And then the inside shade it as well like that. Yeah, just do that just to show it's a surface. And then basically we have surface. Uh, this is the cylinder, or this is a cylinder right here. All right, so there's our cylinders. Just typed it a bit better. So x squared plus y squared equals to one. And uh, yeah, so the radius here, yeah, so the radius across here is one the r equals one like that or instead of making it this way so the, just write r equals to one here r equals one yeah from there to here so these are going to be one one etc 